are you afraid of, Amy? Why are you so scared? Take a breath, I'm sure he'll understand. And after all, when he met Mom, they both just ran away. He didn't let his parents have a say. It never worked out with those boys from before. They were fixated on work. They were kind of a bore. So he's covered in paint. He's never on time, and he struggles for work. Well, that's totally fine. This perfectly passionate man is perfectly mine. Daddy, I met this boy. That's all that matters. Whether he's who you choose won't mean a single thing. Daddy, I'm like a bird freed from its caging, soaring high above the clouds with open wings. I love That's all I need to say. The realization hits me, you know, like a, like a 44 Magnum smashing into my skull. Okay, the ordeal that I am about to face is one of the most chilling, grisly experiences known to woman. Dating. Okay, I am gonna have to start dating again. Please, God, no, don't make me do it. I mean, that is why I stayed with him for so long, you know, probably. I mean, I just, you know, it might be a trifle wild, but at least somebody's gonna go to the movies with me and not try to hold my hand. Hand holding. <laughs> you know, it's the worst thing about dating. I mean, once they start holding hands, I'm afraid to stop. Like, if I pull my hand away, you know, is he gonna think I'm cold or moody? You know, should I squeeze his hand really hard and wiggle my fingers around suggestively, or is that too forward? What if my hand is clammy? <laughs> okay, a clammy hand means you're a lousy lay. I mean, everybody knows that. And what will I wear? Something he said has gone and jinxed me. When did he go and grow a spine? Leave it to him to leave me speechless. I don't know how. But he threw me, me of Roche and Funk and Wagnalls, him of the wind up and the pitch. Son of a bitch, he got right to me, scooped me right up in his glove, and he threw me right into this rider's block. My ship is coming in, and this guy burns the dock. He's got some nerve to contradict me. Doesn't he know he's just a face? Still, it's a face that's fairly handsome. Whatever he's got, they ought to cancel. Cause it is holding my brain ransom. I don't know how he threw me. Blackjack, sad sack, fallen hero. Bad news, you lose. Light the fuse. It's over. I come alive when you're afraid. I am the ending of your tragic fairy tale. I will serve. You know, this may be hard to believe, but I actually never dreamed of being pretty. Um, I, I always felt bad for pretty girls because people would always just stare at them and they never really said or did anything. They were just there, you know, like pretty, you know, like, like goldfish in a bowl, you know, just swimming around and occasionally nibbling at fish food and, and nibbling because we all know that skinny is just the same thing as pretty. And that's the thing about being pretty is that there are so many things that you have to not do in order to be pretty. 
you know, I stay pretty, I do pretty, I visit, I, I circle, I deprive, and I, I starve. And because I do not eat, I do not have very much energy. You, you know, food actually makes your brain function. So pretty people can't run very fast and they don't have very expansive thoughts, but <sighs> then again, they, they don't have to <laughs> because they are pretty. So much to discover, I do it all the time. I could live inside bright pages where the words all rhyme. We will slay the dragons that still follow him around. And he'll smile, yes he'll smile, as his dreams leave the ground. Hold me closer one more time Say that you love me in your last goodbye Please forgive me for my sins Yes, I swam dirty waters But you push me in I'll be waiting for you when you're ready To love me again, I'll put my hands up Love me again, I put my hands up. I'll be somebody different, I'll be better than you. I'm not freaking out. I just want to know what you're doing on a hookup site. I'm not mad. I'm just confused. I guess I always assume that we were gonna be exclusive, so it's a little bit of a shock to find out on the moving in day you don't wanna even try and be monogamous. I always felt like I wanted to be devoted to someone and feel like someone was devoted to me, and before you say anything about me being a prude, it's not that, okay? I don't care what other people do. I care about what you do and what I do. Listen, all I can hear right now is that you wanna fuck other people and the reason you wanna do that is because I'm not enough and I wish, <laughs> I wish I was a more secure person, but I'm not. But all I know is I can and I want to make the choice not to fuck other people. And you can't or won't or don't even wanna try, so where does that put us? And the thing is now the fucking cat's out of the bag. So every time you go to the gym, get a massage, or get a fucking bagel, I'm gonna wonder what you're doing, okay? And you're such a good liar. I've seen you do it. But you know, I mean you have to, but if you don't, I've made it painfully clear. Cause when you're near, I laugh or smile like a nerd. What can I do? I really like you Never taking chances on unsure romances Why, oh, I Leaving simple glances No one or nothing advances in more Than tomorrow
since I've been dreaming of stay put instead And it's scary to keep on carrying all this love But you know I'll never go through Wanting to share these things with you So no matter what's ahead, it all Unsaid. I wish it could be said. What if? When we're dancing, I'm clumsy, our feet collide. Or what if when we're dancing, he dips me, our lips meet, and we glide across the room? And it feels nothing short of wonderful, nothing short of wonderful. Up, he won't wait, he can't wait half the night, either white or maroon. You're a loon, you're a mess, and you think you might bust, but you've just gotta choose. Pick the shoes, then decide on the dress, and you'll be nothing short of wonderful. Nothing short of wonderful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, on a date, on a date, but you can't make him wait, no, you can't make him late, and your room is in heaps, and you can't. But you finally get what a girdle is for. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 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 <sighs> so, studies say that American women are some of the worst at flirting. Or like... Um, what's the word? Establishing connection. But just because something is difficult doesn't mean that you shouldn't work on it. So I'm working on being more aggressive, you know, not just in like my everyday life, but also in my flirting. Um, I asked for a raise at work. I finally did. I mean, I should have done it like six months ago, but I didn't, you know, mostly because I... I have this like fear of like needing to please people and also I'm not entirely sure that I'm worth $12 an hour um but I asked for it I didn't get what I wanted but but I uh got a raise so well that's good I guess um right what I was talking about like being more aggressive well not really like aggressive but just like saying what I want and feeling like like maybe I deserve it and I think you're kind of cute. Well, not, not kind of. You are cute. You are, you are cute. Um, and, and I'm trying to do this thing where if I think someone is cute, I tell them. And, um, whew, this is, this is weird. Um, but I was thinking that maybe I could buy you a beer. If you want. If you, like, don't want, that's totally fine. You can just accept the compliment because you are cute. <laughs> And that's true. Um, but if you if you do want the beer, I'll just be sitting like right over there. Um, and you can just sit here. Sorry, I should just um okay, goodbye. Oh you Give you the 4th of July. Lots of luck finding somebody better than I. Who could do it? Maybe Dorothy Parker's free. Chief, you blew it. She ain't got a thing on me. Front page headlines read Mitchell will land on her feet. Come to my Retreat. Just say the word, and that's my bit. Brother, I'm your man. Watch out, New York. Here comes it.
Sometimes he makes really cute fake mistakes. He'll jumble a phrase or stumble. <laughs> but now I know these are only his ways of being humble. He's a deceptive guy. He's a lot like Clark and well, you know what I meant. They're both more than meets the eye. See his look, but you can't judge a book because he's more than meets the eye. When I was 19, I thought by 23, I'd be married, maybe have a kid, corner office by day, entertaining at night. I was supposed to be driving a Jeep Grand Cherokee by now. Now, now I've got my sights set on 29 because 30 is just way too apocalyptic. I mean, where do you think you'd be by six? Look, I don't want to say anything that's anti-feminist, I mean, I really appreciate everything your generation has done for me. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes it feels like no matter how much success I have, it doesn't really matter until I meet the right guy. You know? Have I died, traveled over to the other side? Could it be an angel came and pulled me from the sea? And if I'm dead, living was a bore, this is more alive than I've been before. Shining high above me That is the radiant sky And the lady seems to love me So if this is error Let her stay mistaken if I'm dreaming Let me never waken from the sweetest dream and whether or not I'm living or dead, whether I'm in or out of my head, all that I know is none of it seems so bad. Who cares if the lady may be mad? You know what I like about Cool Ranch? Uh, I mean, as opposed to like a, like a sun chip, or I don't know, like a, like a regular tortilla chip. 
gets the flavor dust. And it gets stuck to your fingers when you bite your chip. You see it? With Cool Ranch, it's like this, uh, it's like this blue and gold flavor dust. It's, it's not the color of ranch dressing. It's maybe it's a metaphor, huh? It's a Cool Ranch. <laughs> Okay, so no, so then, so then look at this, right? You lick it off, the flavor dust. Et voila. <laughs> and you go in for your next chip, but your fingers, they're like wet and, and, and sticky. So, so there's gonna be more flavor dust that sticks to them. So you, you lick them again, and then there's gonna be more flavor dust. There's gonna be more licking, and eventually it'll, it'll just coat your fingers. And your lips and your tongue, they'll get coated too. And then eventually, who knows if the, the licking is actually cleaning anything or just it's shellacking on layers of, 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 of pasty flavor dust. Right? It's, this, it's this passing back and forth of, of smush that altogether loses its flavor. It's, it's this cleaning that isn't even tasting anymore. This, this, this cleaning that's only making a bigger mess. It's, it's a negative feedback cycle, and the chip, the, the start of the whole thing, is besides the point. <laughs> you think that's a metaphor? Is a chip your life a flavor dust? your dreams, and your fingers a reality. And then your mouth, it's like, it's like death. Or, or is, is the chip your heart? Flavor dust is, uh, it's love. Your fingers are heartbreak and then, and then, and then time just, just gobbles them up. I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby. Don't want my lonely nights. I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say, Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby. Just too good to be true. And for the boy who's given me the sweetest love I've known, I wish for him another love so he won't be alone. But I am bound to walk among the wounded and the slain. And when the storm comes crashing on the plain, I will dance before the lightning to music sacred and profane.
Do you know what really makes me mad? Besides the fact that I once again put myself in this position, is the fact that I was all determined to wake up this morning, share a good buttery piece of toast and a strong black cup of coffee and look you in the eyes, cutting through all the awkward tension, which up till now I thought wouldn't really be here because this was the perfect just meet you and really hit it off kind of night. And to tell you that this is what it is. I don't have any expectations. I don't want us to get married and I don't want us to have babies because I'm not moving to Portland and you're not moving to New York. And that I had a really lovely time. A really, really lovely time. And I'm not even the kind of person who uses the word lovely, but that's what it is. Or was. And I wanted to tell you that even if your stupid dissertation committee thinks that you're a fool, I don't. And that you should go back to Portland knowing that there was someone who did hear you and did believe you, and that should be enough. And most importantly, <laughs> that this wasn't some random revenge screw, but a really wonderful night with the kindest, silliest, weepiest guy that I've ever met. And that I had a really wonderful time. And that's what I was going to say. We've done this all before. We were angels once. Don't you remember? Joy and life inside our souls. And nobody knows, just you and me. It's our secret. This I don't know what I'm thinking You got me upside down Six minutes without blinking My voice can't make a sound You got me You stopped me I think I'm going nutty Oh, what's a girl to do? Oh, I keep digging my hole And I keep falling down But now I think I'm ready to Well, when the nurse woke me up, he was like, I'm sorry, but you can't sleep on the cafeteria floor, while uh, eyeballing this guidebook that had been serving as a headrest. And I'm like, dude, my mom's on her fourth surgery. Our entire life savings belong to you now. You know, I didn't, I didn't say that. I mumbled something about, I'm sorry, and went back to mom. And I was reading to her from the guidebook 
about the sunset luau's by the beach where you can learn to hula. And I, I just got really hungry. And suddenly I'm at the airport. I found a sign, it's destination Maui. And so I called mom, said, mom, I'm going to Maui. And she asked me to bring back some chocolate covered macadamia nuts. It's a funny story. When I got that call, the only thing I could think about was, what am I supposed to do with all these chocolate covered macadamia nuts in my hotel room? We must share a similar mind, his character strong and refined, and his reputation. Whatever his station is generous, truthful, and kind. When I fall in love, fate will play its part. What will be my destiny? Please let the man be. I could be a little wild, cause a little ruckus, make a small mistake, run a yellow light, be a little wild, cause a little mischief, have a Mr. Piv instead of Diet Sprite, get to school on time instead of always early, skip along the sidewalk, step on every crack, be a little bold, forget to pack your lunch, borrow someone's dollar, never pay them back. No! either of you. <laughs> Ever. I met Frank last week, and on our very first date, he asked if he could move in so we could, and I quote, start building our lives together. And then I met William, who during our very first date was drawing ideas for a matching couples tattoo. Now, I'm a nice person. In fact, I would say I'm too nice. I'm not going to ghost you or tell you to take a hike or put you on blast on social media, no. I'm going to turn this into a teachable moment because I'm a helper. When Mr. Rogers said, look for the helpers, he practically could have said, look for Vicky, she's got this. So I came up with a plan. I scheduled our dates to overlap so you could see each other and witness how you behave. You can meet and see how your well-intentioned ideas of love and family are way too extra and frankly creepy. Now, I would never say that because I'm too nice, but I was hoping you can meet and come to that realization on your own. I've imagined you so 
kind. You are tall, you are old, but in all those pondering days, I'd not imagined you heartless and cold. I thought you cared, I confess. I couldn't know someone less. And I'm here on a farm in the country, sleeping a wood and bed. Mrs. Simple is really quite simple, sees that the cows are fed. Tomorrow we may paint the barn a different shade of red. There's an ice cream social at the schoolhouse. I wish I were dead. in my own discontent Though you show me kindness and change my life I must confess Why would you set me free only to imprison me I couldn't know someone less I've done everything right It feels like I'm 40 already The man I will be when I die Don't bother with why Won't scream out for more No use unearthing the boy I was before <laughs> Eyes from the sun Don't look any higher I've only begun My sacrifice I brought him up, he brings me here, I'll bring him home. There's a life I'm told to lead, push through another year. I stick with what I'm stuck, and disappear. Disappear. I've done everything right. Soon I'll just vanish, sinking so deep that I'm likely to drown. But I keep my head down, keep food on the shelf, keep paying for dreams I can't afford myself. Eyes from the sun don't look any higher. I've only begun my sacrifice. Eighteen years old, trapped in a life under the ground. Pick up the slack, pull on my boots, push through a year and disappear. Look, Eli, you're just... You're just not relationship material. Oh. <laughs> okay, um... You know, you hear a lot about crazy cat ladies. You know, those, those old little ladies who have like 47 cats or whatever. Uh, but you never hear about crazy cat men. Well, that's what I'm going to be, you know, because cats, they don't judge you. They don't look at you and say, you're not relationship material because <laughs> they wouldn't do that to you because you know where you stand with cats. You provide for them. You clean their litter box. You have a very clear relationship with well-defined boundaries and no one gets confused if things are heading in a romantic direction or not because it's a cat. 
okay? And, and you can't have relationships with cats in most states. That's not the point. But uh, this is all why I'm just gonna get like, I'm gonna get like 20 of them. And I'm just gonna let them sit on my lap all day like I got a big blanket full of cats. And it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. And you're gonna see me one day with my pack of cats. And you're gonna, and you're gonna think to yourself, God, why didn't I snatch them up earlier? And it's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late because I'm gonna be so happy. So happy with my life. So, so happy. Mm-hmm. Maybe I make things a mess And maybe you're right to have doubts in me Maybe, but nevertheless If you for once could just trust me Just this once Let me come through for you the way that you want me to I will make you proud I will make you have faith in me I will prove that the way I used to be Is all in the past I will save the day And come back here triumphantly Cause I long for that look of surprise When you see your sun rising at last The pride in your eyes When you see your sun rising At last Miss Prism thinks I'm wholesome Miss Prism thinks I'm pure She doesn't really see me and I will not alert her for what she doesn't know practically won't hurt her I don't care about Oliver Twist Mansfield Park doesn't really exist give me the truth or baby love me do cause no one sees my invisible side small town girl needs a ticket to ride your mother should know I'm ready for something new cause all I So turn the record up until my ears won't stop ringing. Lulu is singing, London is swinging, but just beware. This town's gonna rattle and roll when I get there. No, Mom! You're not listening to me. Every conversation with you is, it's like a one-way conversation. All I'm asking is if there has ever been a genuine moment when you've been proud of me. Okay. No, so, um, you're not actually supposed to have to think for that long. Um. No, I just don't think you realize that I am genuinely so proud of you. <laughs> I bake a pie and I'm like, it's a great recipe because it's my mom's. Or I tie my shoes a certain way because that's how my mom taught me. I'm a grown woman and I am making decisions solely to please you. I think it's because there's a really big part of me, Mom, that does want to be you. But not anymore. Who needs love? Love's for other people. All the other people who have nothing else to do, so they go two by two underneath the steeple. I would think about that twice if I were you. Why let go? Why surrender trust? A knight in shining armor is just one more thing to dust. And I've got lots of dust that needs disposing of. Really, when you think about it, who needs love? Why spend time staring at the moon? 
dreaming of a person who might change your life and soon. And if at times I wish on stars that shine above, really when you think about it, really when you think about it, really when you think about it, I know what it is, what I feel, what I feel, what it is that I know isn't real. And I know what I feel is a thing that's confusing me. Well, merely because this particular thrill is a thrill that I thought was particular too. I discover the one that I love was in love with me. That's why the words begin. my fingertips like the needles and pins that you heard spoken of well that's what it's like like love Can I just say something? Yeah, I'm terrified, okay? Because my piece is real, and it's raw, and it's me, and it's the unapologetic truth with a capital T. Well, all caps actually, because now I'm thinking like a writer. But this was stuff I couldn't even talk about without lying. And here I am, about to strip naked in front of a bunch of strangers and share something that I am massively afraid of. Not literally, because I don't believe in nudity unless it drives the story forward, but you know that. But I guess, I'm just, fine, I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm gonna get up there and they're all just gonna stare at me and judge me, but I have to do this. It's my story to tell. But what if you get it wrong, Sally? I don't know, you can't get it wrong, Sally! But you wanna know what the worst part is? You wanna know what drives me so fucking crazy? Is that I am so jealous that you are reading for this because I have never had a director session feature, which is the same thing as a movie PS. And I have been doing this for way longer than you. And I think we can both agree that I'm way better at you than this. Sorry, but come on, I, I made you. And of course, I'm so proud of you and I'm so happy for you and I want you to get this role. And I want to help you learn your lines and fix some of your beats and inflections. But I need you to know that if you book this role, <laughs> it's going to make me a hundred times more insane. <laughs> okay? Continue. As the skyline comes in view, a brand new city welcomes me in this maze of glass and steel. For the first time I feel free, I'm not a victim of my past. Now I'm moving on at last. True, I'm traveling alone.
I've waited plenty times I've waited for each Christmas morning I've waited for my first gun I waited for my first pony I waited for that woman I'd make my wife No and I'd find her somehow I waited for that woman all my life Tell me boys How's it work that I still gotta wait for her now? Did spring come to Texas? Am I just going loco? My girls come to Texas And the mesquite and the laurel and the wild cherry and the wahio Seem to have blossomed for her And I've gotta swallow my pride I've waited for the greening, for the roundup Open for the Brandon and the ranchers and the cowboys to ride. Spring came to Texas, and I'm still waiting for my bride. Hi, Charlotte. I know this is weird, me being here and all like this, and and, and I know I really just met you, but I've seen you. And you are so pretty, I think. I mean, I think you're pretty. <coughs> right, I I'm just gonna go right out and say it. I love you! And I know it's stupid, and it's just so stupid, but I, I wanna know if maybe you wanted to go be out and be like boyfriend and girlfriend or something, or I don't know, because I really love you, and it's hard keeping it inside all the time, and I came here to say that, and I wanna know if maybe you wanted to go out and eat. Something, or I have a great entertainment system at home. It's surround sound and DVD. Maybe I could hold you, or maybe let me kiss you. I don't know. Is that, is that okay? Because I really love you. Shit. Uh, I have practice. I. I'm really sorry about your mom being dead and all. That sucks. But I have given her my word And if the time should come I will do what I must How could I? To dim the sun before the summer ends To burn a castle down Before the princess is awake To kill a love when it's still so alive I'll keep my word heart will break I'll keep my word and my heart will Was I stupid to love you? Was I reckless to help? Was it obvious to everybody else that I'd fallen for a lie? You were never on my side. Fool me once, fool me twice. Are you dead? cry there's just no time to die Ooh, oh no time to die no time to die oh there's just no time to die Hi! Hey! Hi! Um, oh, this is probably seeming so much stranger than how I intended, so I'm, I'm sorry to startle you. Uh, I'm... I'm coming out of the closet. Uh, your closet. I'm coming out of your closet. Um, I had this whole great idea to surprise you with 
an insincere apology and a, I'm sorry. Um, so I let myself in, in the middle of the night. And once I was actually, you know, sitting here in the darkness, I thought, uh oh, <laughs> this could seem slightly threatening and menacing. So I, I panicked just a little bit and I just darted into the closet. So, surprise, I'm sorry, I sold you out. And, and I, and I just wanted to put it out there that I had completely forgiven you for when I thought that you were trying to sell me out first. Because I saw you, okay? I saw you and Ronald outside the bakery and he was smelling your hand. Yeah, yeah I know what that means, okay? He has smelled many of my parts and, and, and I have smelled many of his parts and, and I was so mad and I, I was wounded and I was a little bit tipsy and, I, and I, I wanted to rear up, jackknife my legs and kick you both in the fucking jaw with my foot bone. I was like, this is what happens. This is what happens when you corner a rat. I was like, you corner me, I will fucking chew through you and your slow blinking eyes. But then, I realized <laughs> that you weren't trying to sell me out. So that is a little mix up. <laughs> I, I haven't, I don't, I don't have a lot of experience or reference points for, I've never had a lot of friends before. So I totally get it. If you never want to talk to me again, I, I don't want you to feel bad about that or anything, but, I just wanted to say I think you're a really great person. Really nice. And um, you were the closest thing to a friend I've ever had. And I'm really sorry I screwed that up. I'd be in a good space. I could get a nice place with a roommate or two if I need one. And who knows what else it might lead to once I get that job in my mitts. Nicer clothes I could buy. I could meet a nice guy. One who isn't a cheat or a stealer or gay or my boss or my dealer. Man, my pinker serpent on the fritz. Why, after I came back from Miley to slip, I managed to pick up my 90-day chip. Do you put a price tag on what I'm worth? That's all you're allowed. You don't get the pledge. You just lie, lie. There's a chance, there's a chance. Why am I wasting my breath? I'm spinning my wheels. It's okay, no big deal. Hey, it's just life or death. There's a chance, there's a chance. I might finally see something through. I'm not taking drugs and I'm not robbing banks. And if I get this job by the seat of my spanks, it'll be no thanks to you.